So as we mentioned previously, Terraform workflow is in four easy steps. So let's take our code here and we're going to say Terraform init. So that's the first step that we take all the time. And you see here that it's downloaded the Azure RM provider since I don't have it cached locally. So it goes on Terraform and gets this uh, provider. So now I'm going to run a Terraform plan and I'm going to ask Terraform to enumerate what it is going to do with this script. So here it's rather easy. I have a resource group and a network. So that's what it's going to do for me. Next step is Terraform apply. So Terraform apply is going to show me what it is going to do when it's going to ask me for a confirmation. So here I can do yes and see that all those objects will come into life inside my subscription. So I can go back there and check at the object. So my resource group and the vignette is here created, my vignette. So that's pretty much about it. Now let's see if we can add some things. I can go on the terraforms.io website. I can see for the Azure provider and we can see that we have data sources or we have uh, resources. Right now we are going to look at resources because we want to add and deploy some more stuff inside my Azure subscription. So let's browse at the network uh, part of it and we are going to deploy some more stuff inside my network. So let's pick, for instance, uh, the network security group here. We're going to create an empty uh, network security group just for the sake of uh, the demo and see what we can do with it. So I'm just going to add that at the end of my script. I'm going to create an Azure RM security group called test. That's again the internal name within Terraform. The public name of this NSG would be acceptance test security group one. So that's how it's going to appear in my subscription. So I just save my file, specify to reuse the location and the name of the resource group. And we're going to see that Terraform is just applying the Delta. So just adding this object to my current configuration. And I can see that in my subscription. If I refresh, I see the NSG that has appeared uh, yet. So let's do a little bit more advanced stuff now and start playing with the variable. So when I play with the variable, I want to reuse basically uh, the definition or the settings and not re-entering it at every part of my resources that I'm going to deploy. So here I can put a description of this variable. I can put a default value. So if I don't specify any value in my code, then automatically the location that will be picked would be uh, Southeast Asia. Then I can put some other variable here. I'm going to put a variable for the resource group name and I'm going to add a short description to know um, that actually I'm going to describe the name of the resource group to be created. And then I can add also some constraint on the type. So here I'm going to say for this type, I just want a string as a type for this uh, resource group as a name. And I can now replace in my code and I say use var.location and use var.resource group name in my code. Now I need to define somewhere to define those variables. So it could be either a tf var file, or if I want Terraform to automatically apply the values for me, I can just create an auto.tf var. So anytime there's a file ending dash ending with .auto.tf var, Terraform will automatically add, interpolate those values for me. So now I've created East Asia and Arno RG for the description. So you see that here I just applying uh, the changes and Terraform is going to destroy the object that are not matching that and recreate it uh, for me with the right parameter. So now I'm doing a little bit of change in my uh, code. I'm going to reuse the tags uh, everywhere as well. Uh, so var.tags for my uh, network. And oops, I forgot to add tags for the network security group. That's something I can do very easily here. And I need to define tags here. So same thing, a little description for what is a tag in my environment. And I need to specify a tag uh, structure. So here I'm using a map for this um, structure. So I can put environment equal to from demo and owner equal um, or no. So that's a map of uh, strings that I'm using here. So same thing, I'm saving all my files, I'm doing apply, and it shows me that it's going to create a set of objects uh, for me. 
So here I'm going to do yes, and I'm going to apply the configuration in my subscription. And if I go back here, I see that I have now my object created in East uh, Asia and my vignette that is created here. So if I do a Terraform uh, destroy, that's something I want to do to test if my set of resources I coded correctly. I can do Terraform destroy and I can do dash auto approve so that I don't want to be prompted for confirmation. Just delete everything right away uh, without my uh, further consent.